Good morning children. Today we are going to learn about water pollution. But before that, let us take a pause and think for a moment. Can you imagine living without water? No, correct? Water is essential for all the living things. We cannot live without water. Let us look at different uses of water. Water is used for drinking and for other domestic uses like washing, cleaning, cooking, bathing, etc. Right? Other than home, where all water is required? Water is required in the factories for washing material, cleaning equipment and cooling huge machines. Water is also used in agriculture to grow healthy crops. Taking water from the water bodies to the land where crops are grown is called irrigation. You see so much construction activities nowadays everywhere. Water is also required for the construction work. Example, to join bricks with cement, you need water. So as we saw, there are so many uses of water. We get water from rivers, lakes, tube wells, etc. But do you always get clean water? No. So what is water pollution? The addition of unwanted harmful substances to the water is called water pollution. The polluted water is not suitable for any use. Now let us look at the different causes of water pollution. The dirty water from the bathrooms and toilets that flow into our drainage system is called sewage. If the sewage is not treated, it can spread diseases and if sewage mixes with the other water bodies like lake, pond or river, it causes water pollution. So, care should be taken that sewage drain should not end up in the water bodies, that is, lakes, rivers, etc. Some factory wastes also contain poisonous harmful chemicals which get released in the river and polluted. Even at times, garbage from hotels and houses is often dumped in open drains which finally end up in the river. Pesticides and other chemicals from the farms flow into the river due to rain and pollute it. So, what are the effects of water pollution? Water pollution affects the aquatic life. Every year, a large number of fishes and water animals die due to water pollution. Even plants do not grow well in the polluted water. Plants that grow in polluted water carry harmful substances that can affect the animals and human beings which eat these plants. Let us take an example. Say there is a tomato plant that is watered every day using the polluted water. Now, if you eat the tomatoes of such a plant, Will it taste the same as usual tomatoes? No, right? We cannot drink polluted water as it contains harmful bacteria which can cause many diseases. So, the water received from lakes, rivers, etc. is first tested and treated before it is supplied to our homes. Do you know how water is supplied to the taps in our homes? Water from the river or rainwater is collected and stored in huge artificial lakes called reservoirs. This water is filtered for removing the impurities. Then chlorine is added in it to kill the bacteria. Now the water is safe for drinking. It is then carried in underground pipes and taps to our homes. After the water treatment, the water is safe for drinking. We know that fresh water on earth is very limited. We should not throw rubbish and garbage in water bodies and keep them clean. A drop of water is worth more than a bag of gold 
to a thirsty man. Thus, water is very precious and every drop of it should be conserved.